everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new. My name is Soraya Alexis. Today's video is basically me getting my life together, prepping, and just trying to refresh from the crazy year that we had, which was 2020. Even though 2021 looks like it's just like 2020 part two, but we're still gonna do our New Year's resolutions and reset because I'm trying to feel somewhat normal. <laughs> I started doing some new things this year just because 2020 was so crazy and I needed to do like a major major refresh So if you're new to my channel, I basically redid my whole room. I painted it finally. It's like a fresh new start You know what I'm saying? So basically I separate my reset into like three sections The first thing I do is clean or that's the first thing I want to do or try to do So what that means is just decluttering my room, um, getting rid of a lot of stuff, cleaning my room, cleaning the house. So it started with me painting my room and then I got rid of a lot of stuff, got rid of clothes, did my closet, reorganized my closet and I reorganized some of my drawers, my vanity. I got rid of a lot of things including my furniture so most of my stuff is kind of on the floor right now but that's okay. Um, another thing that I did which is pretty new for me. I usually don't do this, but I cleaned out my car. Now let me tell you guys a little bit about my car. So my mom was nice enough to give me her old car. I was lucky enough to have a car to go back and forth from high school and eventually college. And I still have that car now to this day. So it is very, very old and it's basically a death trap. Let me not even say that. <laughs> it's basically a death trap though. Um, but I love that car. I'm very grateful to have a freaking car and for it to keep working. But I will say that it's been time for an upgrade. That's something that I definitely was one of my goals for this year. Back to the whole cleaning thing. I, when I first got that car, I never seen it as mine, even though my mom gave it to me. I just, it wasn't something that I got myself and I'm very like, I'm the type of person that's like, I need to get it myself in order for it to really be mine. I don't know why I'm like this, but I never really cleaned it. I never really made it my car. I never really like did anything to it. Um, When she gave it to me, I kind of just left it. Even like some of her stuff that was in the car was still in there to this day so i decided to like go through and clean everything out take out the stuff that i no longer needed and then i also very important i did a digital reset so i actually didn't finish this because this is guys i'm not even gonna lie this is a brutal process especially if if you make content and you have like hard drives and sd cards and documents and downloads and you take a lot of pictures it's a process. So what I did is I made a whole Notion Notion page for digital resetting. I can share that with you guys so you, if you guys want to do that too. I'm thirsty. My digital space gets really cluttered. Too many photos. My iCloud has been full for lord knows how long. Also, side note, everything does not have to be like, oh, from the new year. It doesn't have to be like this whole big project of every year I'm going to do this and reset like you can reset whenever you want don't feel the need to reset just because it's a new year all right so the next phase of my whole reset is planning so i am going to be making a whole nother video of how i plan for my new year and for the months coming up planning for me it's like a love-hate relationship to be honest like i love to plan i will freaking plan the out of anything. I love planning so much and I plan so much that it complicates it. It's like I over plan. I'm definitely that type of person. So the first thing in this phase of planning is reflecting. So what I did was I journaled. I like to reflect by doing like journaling prompts. There's so many journaling prompts you can find on YouTube or on Pinterest or anywhere. You get to see like what you actually did accomplish. The next thing I did was manifest. If you're not into astrology, basically this whole new 2021, this whole new um, year, we're moving into a new age and they call it the age of Aquarius. Areas. so and one thing that I was hearing is that this new energy that we're in is great for manifesting so I went and I wrote down all the manifestations that I want for 2021 and what you can do is right in 2020 I blink and then it's in 2020 I am blink or whatever else you want to uh, say all right so the next thing that I did was set up all my doctor's appointments I went to go see my primary doctor I got a new primary love him take care of your body take care of yourself set your appointments so the last thing of what um, with like New Year's planning is obviously setting up your resolutions or your goals. Like I said, I'll be showing you guys how I did this in my other video, how I planned for the New Year. Basically what I did 
for this was just go over my goals for the year my quarterly goals and my monthly goals i split my goals into from january to march april to june June so basically every three months the reason why I do this really is because like I am a multi-passionate type of person so I want to do a thousand things and I want to do them now <laughs> I want to do them all right now so separating everything into quarters really helps me focus on one thing or a few things at a time instead of trying to do a thousand things all at once it really has helped me stay more focused on my goals and not feel overwhelmed because I really do like to set a lot of goals. I really don't realize it, but a year can go like that. Kind of like 2020. It felt like forever, but really, 2020, sis was gone. Like, there's 12 months in a year, really. And we have to be more realistic with what we think we can accomplish in 12 months and be more patient. So, lastly, the last phase of my... 2021 reset or just yearly reset it's the whole glow up thing not gonna lie um i definitely have not like been getting ready recently just staying in the house i'm like where am i going even if i do go out i'm like what's the point of putting on makeup because i'm wearing a mask but i finally decided it was time to wash my hair because my hair was crusty it was so crusty yo i'm not gonna lie washing my hair was definitely a task but it was so needed i used the clay with um apple cider vinegar let me tell you my hair was shining and when i rinsed it out my hair was so soft like my i feel like i've never felt my hair that soft ever yeah i'm gonna have to wash my hair again because it's been like a whole week next thing i did was like a body scrub i am going to be doing my nails and that'll be my last step in my glow up process i did my eyebrows i plucked them they're not perfect but it is what it is and that is pretty much it so i hope this video was helpful to you guys if you wanted some ideas on how you can reset for the new year and just in general like i said this can be done anytime if you enjoyed it definitely make sure you give it a like and comment down below those type of engagements really help out my channel and boost my channel up so that more people can see my videos so i really appreciate that and definitely make sure you subscribe and hit the bell notification so that don't miss another upload from me thank you guys so much for watching i love you and i will see you in my next video bye